You're watching Do It Better, Football Manager 2016 series where me and you try and do it better. We take a team from around the world and attempt to improve on their previous season. This time round we're looking at Aston Villa and the aim is to avoid relegation. Hello then folks, welcome back to the final episode in the Villa section of hashtag Do It Better. Now here we are then, it's finally happened, We've we're at our final stages. Let's take a quick look then at the league table as it was in real life before we continue. Of course, hopefully you've been watching the previous parts, so you're up to date with where we are. You can see here then, Aston Villa, what a season it was, 17 points from their 38 games, only 3 wins, 8 draws and 27 losses. Today we'll play our final game. And this is where we are in the league table. We are 15th, 41 points. Many points better than they finished in real life. I can now confirm we have completed this challenge and we have done it better. And uh, we'll get, on it to, get onto it later, but a lot of you guys have as well. We'll look through some of your pictures uh, towards the end of the video. But you can see there then, 11 wins. That, that's a lot of wins compared to what they actually got in real life. Um, we've done very well. Palace, Stoke, West Brom, uh, Chelsea, a double over Leicester and a double over Norwich as well. Uh, Leicester and Crystal Palace there as well. Uh, Crystal Palace a double too. So we had quite a few doubles. There were teams that we could certainly take points off. If you look at our draws, you can see Watford, Bournemouth, Tottenham, uh, Newcastle, Swansea, Stoke, Sunderland, uh, were the teams we drew with. And yeah, still quite a lot of losses against teams you probably expect. And overall, we've had a very good season. We'll look after today's match at some of the stats from our players. Um, but yeah, it's gone well. We have done it better. The question now is, can we get uh, a higher points total than, than 41 points? We have one game to go. We are safe. There is still a chance we can come 17th, and I think that would take the shine off a little bit, so hopefully that doesn't happen. Um, but today's game, then, if you take a look at the fixtures, we had quite a good run-in towards the end. Uh, we've got a home game against Swansea coming up, but it's those last sort of three games. Wins against Stoke, wins against Crystal Palace, uh, a draw against Watford. That seven-point uh, recovery, really, after a Manchester United-Arsenal-Liverpool section, which didn't go so well. Obviously, last time round, we played West Brom, beat them 3-1. Three tough games, lost them all. Three easier games and did very well. Uh, going to the final game then, hopefully. Another win against Swansea and we can do the job. Let's take a look at today's team. So then, for today's match, we're going to go with Brad Cusin and goal. Alan Hutton, Akore, Lescott, Amavi at the back. Uh, Vuto and Gway in the middle with Truro on the right. Grealish on the left. Uh, Chris Martin. Five episodes. Really? No. Stop it. Shane Long. We'll join him up front. Um, and yeah, hopefully we can we can do the best we can. I'm looking at it here, actually. Akore's struggling for a little bit of fitness, so we might just bring in... Oh, Kieran... Oh, no, I've got for Mika Richards. Uh, Kieran Clark next to him instead as a centre-back option. There we are. Then let's get into the game. Hopefully we can uh, raise our points tally to around 44 points. That would be magnificent. Swansea have had a, a decent season. Manchester United uh, can seal the league today. Obviously, they're battling with Arsenal, who are away at Leicester. Manchester United at home tonight. So something to play for in this league season, which is quite interesting. Um... The top four is decided, though, and West Ham in fifth place. Well done to them. Liverpool could turn their season around, by the way, up in 14th. OK, then, final match of the season against Swansea. Uh, a lot of people have kind of mentioned that the series, that it's a shame we didn't do the real-life fixtures. I don't think it matters, considering you kind of play everyone twice. Yes, there's momentum and things like that that could be affected, but overall, I think it's fine to do it this way, and obviously, I think a lot of people have as well. Oh, well. Uh, so, <laughs> Swansea have scored after two minutes. Gomis, 13th goal of the season. Didn't have a, a, such a good season in real life life but he's done well there also quick thank you everyone that voted on the poll i'll reveal at the very end who we're doing some of you probably know already uh but yes we, we've got our team for the next do it better so i hope you join me get yourself ready for it uh feel free to start it sort of now if you want but we'll talk about it at the end gomis has scored one else onesie um well Swansea, a team in real life that struggled uh, sort of in their mid part of the season, had a managerial change, of course. One of the teams that had a managerial change and it worked for them. Uh, Aston Villa had a managerial, a managerial change and it didn't work for them. So it just shows that sometimes you can get it very right, sometimes you get it quite wrong. As uh, Brad Kusan makes a fantastic save, keeps it at 1 0. We've not had a great deal of, uh, of the ball in this first half. We don't seem to have had any good chances. We're going to change it from counter to attacking as we go closer towards the second half. I mean, this change is going to come in late. That's Brad Gugzan in a nutshell. Made a fantastic save a moment ago. Let's watch it in 3D. So in three dimensions, you can see Ango Rangel puts the ball in. Brad Gugzan, I mean, does anybody know what he's done there? I've got absolutely no idea what he's done there. That's, um, well... Piss poor. And that brings us to half time. Swansea lead 2-0. I mean it's quite an underwhelming end to the series, but uh yes, at least at least we did it better. I think that's the key here. The objective was to stay up. At times, not easy. It looks like we actually might finish 17th the way things are going. Watford and West Brom must be having decent results. And uh yeah, Manchester United look like they might win the league. City coming second. Half to go though. 
Uh, can any of our boys pull something out of the bag? I've been quite pleased with uh, with our signings. Shane Long and Chris Martin. Oh, speak of the Dolphs. Yeah, you've never, never mind. But Shane Long and Chris Martin both had decent seasons. Both came in and scored goals. We'll focus on that towards the end of the season. Um, or towards the end of the season, towards the end of the video. We'll have a look at who our best performers were. Um, I've, been, I've been looking at a lot of the screenshots that have been sent to me on Twitter and in the comment section. A lot of people saying that they've had some really high performers. Jordan Ayew, for a lot of people, has been has been performing very, very well as Gomez makes it. I mean, Gomez is performing very, very well, isn't he? That's now his 14th goal of the season. Someone's got a bonus for 15, haven't they? Ah, oh, dearie me. Sissoko, interestingly, Sissoko whipped the ball in. We sold Sissoko for 4.6 million, I remembered. Um, that's quite a lot. And he's, today he's come back to hurt us, which is disappointing okay 20 minutes left to go i'm going to try and change it round i'm going to bring rudy Gestead on i'm going to bring i'm probably going to bring gill on as well and we'll bring flamini on as well why not he was one of our signings uh so we're gonna we're gonna change to a diamond in fact we'll go to a sort of a, a, a four three one two formation for the latter stages i feel like this game has gone folks it's it's kind of it doesn't mean anything now does it we're already safe we're on the beach um but Rudy Gestead says, no, we will carry on. Fabianski holds the ball. Shane Long can't quite get there. Swansea come forward again, you know. Carl Norton on this right side. Ball in. Correa. Gomez. Ah, offside. Yeah, you've been stung by it now. We've not had a single clear-cut chance. Brad Guzan plays it up towards Rudy Gestead. Doesn't even win the header. I mean, if Gestead's not winning the headers, what is he doing? He's not had a fantastic season for me. It must be said he's had quite a poor season. As Correa comes forward, Gomez has got that 15-goal bonus. Uh, well, we're assuming so anyway. Ball to the back post. When Carl Norton's scoring against you, you know you've got real issues. I think if we were to do another season, this this performance here would make me ring the changes, it must be said. Gomez uh, combines well on this left side with Taylor, who on the volley plays it in to Carl Norton. The ball doesn't touch the bloody ground. Brad Guzan has had a questionable performance. All I'll say is, I'm very, very pleased this game didn't mean anything in the context of staying up, because if it did... This would be embarrassing. Really, really embarrassing. <laughs> Rudy Gestead plays it towards... Uh, it's not It's not Carlos, it's Charles. Well, Shane Long's got a goal. That makes that transfer look even better. You can see at the bottom, his seventh goal of the season. So based on how he's come in and how he's done, I think he's done okay. I I'm very, very pleased, actually. Not, not just okay, very well. Uh, he scored another one there from close range. Shane Long makes it for him. Will he have an impact on the Euros this summer? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Got a goal back. Dignity saved. Well, saved. More sort of redeem no no there's no dignity in losing 4-1 to Swansea and there it is then Aston Villa 1 Swansea 4 I think in the same fixture actually Swansea won 4-2 so we've done, we've done even worse than Tim Sherwood oh dear me it's, it's the game that got Sherwood sacked and let's hope I stay in the job post this game well there we are then our payout for finishing 17th is 4.23 million not great has to be said uh yes I, I came into this video thinking oh well I can show them that I've come 15th and it's going to be great Swansea have put a quick stop to that, and uh, now 17th. We avoided the drop, though. Seven points clear is quite the distance. Crystal Palace, Stoke and Norwich going down. Obviously not similar to real life. Newcastle and Sunderland had far better seasons than real life. Norwich the only team to go down uh, as they did in real life. There we are, then. David Moyes was Chelsea manager. He is Chelsea manager. Okay, then, David. Ha yep. So, when it comes down to it, let's look at our team and how they've got on throughout this season. Our top performers, ignoring Ashley Westwood. Jordan Ayew uh, has had a, pr a terrific time of it. 7.27. 11 goals for us this season. Three assists as well. Uh, has really been one of our key performers. Rudy Gestead, when he came on, he did okay. 7.2 rating uh, after nine substitute appearances. Two goals for him. As I say, not fantastic. Um, Gway and Vertu. The, the midfield dynamo we, we played a risky formation this season we played the two in the midfield weren't particularly defensive played with wingers as well um, but as you can see here they performed very very well uh, a 7.15 and a 7.16 with a pair of them uh, goals and assists between them so I, I've got to say very pleased I think if those two had performed a lot better for Aston Villa this season it would have changed Villa's season um, and obviously it didn't quite work out like that if we take a look then at the goals charts we can see Jordan Ayew is on top Shane Long and Chris Martin who we'll focus on now then Shane Long Brought in for 2.1 million in the January. Seven goals in 13 games, which is curious considering he had quite a low average rating for the, for the performances he put in. Seven in 13 is absolutely fantastic, it has to be said. And uh, Chris Martin, the big summer transfer that we made, really. Six in 21. 
not really what we were hoping for for the money we spent. Um, but I guess he scored goals. If we hadn't scored at all, that would have been far, far worse. Uh, so 6-21, and 21, arguably kept us up as well, should be noted. Uh, on the assist charts then, Jack Greedish had a very good season for us. Six assists. Uh, Charles Gill with five assists. Uh, Vertu, Sinclair, Adam Traore, and even Mika Richards picking up assists as well. Four for all of them. Um, pass completion and things like that. If you are interested, I'll click through. And if you want to pause on any of these ones, then you can have a little look through and maybe compare them to how you did uh, if you played along the save as well. I don't think we had a... We had two red cards. Flumini got both. I mean, that sums it up. Aggression 18. He's declining quite a lot. Uh, yeah, to be expected. So to finish 14 points better isn't too bad at all. And now it's time to take a look through some of your stuff. How did you do? And uh, yeah, let's, let's see. I'm going to go through a few of the ones that were sent in on Twitter and we'll see how people did compared to me. So then we've got some Twitter comments and we've got some pictures as well. Chris Ormy gave it a go, uh, Twitch streamer. I think he's done a bit of YouTube as well, Chris Ormy. Uh, gave it a go, finished 19th after addressing Room Revolt, sacked with two games left. It uh, was looking good for most of the season too. Sorry, Chris, I know that. It's, it's, it, you've been Sherwood, essentially. Uh, moving on to Bailey on Twitter. Um, Villa finished 10th in his save. Did really, really well. I think that's a 51-point margin as well great season 10 more points than me uh, obviously a lot more points than in real life and uh, interesting the Southampton Watford and Stoke got relegated in his save which is curious uh, fellow YouTuber Brian Gendo gave it a go finished 16th with another 40 points just a point below me and again though performed far uh, far above the expectations Stoke going down in his save as well I think they went down in my save and in Bailey's and in Brian's as well Stunning stuff. Stoke have had a really poor season. Um, Villa in 16th, though. What well on Brian? Kai Swans managed to get Aston Villa to 16th. Uh, Stoke went down in his. This is kind of the did Stoke get relegated challenge at this point. Uh, kept him up, though. 39 points. Uh, quite, a, quite a low season, actually. Quite a low uh, points tally for the winners. And to study up, you didn't need that many. 37. Uh, not too bad at all. Well done to you, Kai. You can see here as well, Charles Brown finished 8th as well. 62 points. Uh, massive. Nearly got into to Europe with that league table. Stoke again went down. I mean, does Stoke go down in all of these? As we move on to Daryl. Uh, Daryl got a Villa to 13th position. 48 points. Um... Stoke finished bottom. This quite this is literally now. How did Stoke do? Thanks for part there, Daryl. Appreciate it. Uh, Twitter comment from James Smith at Desinov on Twitter. I got sacked on the 13th game, 18th in the league. They finished 19th. AU had zero and eleven for me, 15 and 21 without me. Oh, James. James, 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 James. Johnny Roper, at 14th place, Aston Villa, 45 points, so it's slightly better than me. 41 points, which is our total, actually. Got you relegated this season. The biggest shock, though, of uh, of Johnny's table is that Stoke are up in 11th. I mean, something's gone wrong there. Fellow YouTuber Jordan, uh, to at Toxic Lemon on Twitter. It's unconvincing, but it's enough to keep me up. Uh, actually, do it better. He's saying that he's better than Timmy Tactics and Remy Guard. Uh, 13th place with Aston Villa, 39 points uh, with one game remaining. So he, he gets them safe before the end of the season, which is what the objective was, really. He did well there. Um, actually, could, could you start Jordan? If if Sunderland do well, you could slip back down. I guess they might play each other. All right, I'll give you it, Jordan. I'll give you it. Uh, thanks for taking part, my man. I appreciate it. Right, a few more to go through. Uh, Josh Katz got Villa to 14th. Did really well. 46 points. Good stuff. Uh, Lewis on Twitter got Villa to 16th. 39 points. Very close at the bottom there. Look at that. Snoke got relegated, obviously. And the 39 points. Newcastle, Aston Villa and Bournemouth. Very, very close. Uh, but lovely to see. Uh, Magnus on Twitter, Villa to 11th, good stuff, 48 points. Again, Stoke survived this time, who, who, who knew? You can see here, Ollie gave it a, a go as well. Um, well done to you, mate. On mobile, it should be pointed out, Just Mike Plays, who's another YouTuber, does mobile. I'll actually put his link in the description. Gave this a go as well. He's doing a save on YouTube, so you should check it out. Uh, I, think, I think a few other guys did as well. I think Kai, who I showed earlier, also did it. So if you want to go and check that, I think if you search Do It Better on YouTube, you'll probably find it. But yes, uh, Ollie got to 11th place with Aston Villa, did really, really well. Uh, 43 points. Again, quite a low scoring Premier League table Manchester City ran away with it and then as you see 43 points up in 11th really did keep it tight down there uh, two more to do this didn't go well did it boys we'll start with Francis got sacked while I was 17th in January hashtag do it there Oh dear. <laughs> and finally, John Kennedy sacked with four games left in 18th place, three points from safety, and in an FA Cup semi final. John, it seems unfair, it is unfair, but you know, you, you nearly did it better. And that brings us to an end then. How did you get on? Did you give it a go? Let me know in the comment section down below. Sorry to those people I didn't include in the video. I'm sure you can appreciate it. I can't include everybody, uh, but I will hopefully include you in the next one, which will be 
Valencia. We're going to take control from the point that Gary Neville took over. Uh, I will leave in the description a link to Sort It Out database, Sort It Out SI database, in which you can load up the save from that exact date. If you follow the instructions on their website, uh, you'll see what I mean. There we are then, the first series of Do It Better. Thank you for your support on the series. You seem to have enjoyed it, and I appreciate that very, very much. Uh, if you want to see more, do subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed the series, do leave a like. And I'll see you again on Wednesday with some more Do It Better. We love, with care, from me to mention. Until next time, goodbye.